Hi friends, welcome back to Candable. This is Engineer Prime Amar, and in this tutorial, uh, we'll make this board in SolidWorks. And this would be practice exercise 33 of this playlist. And this tutorial would be related to surfacing. Okay. Uh, well, it's been a month since I'm not making any video, and the reason is uh, uh, I was preparing for my master's exam. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go to a new select part and select OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. So first of all, as usual, I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. Okay. So first of all, uh, I will choose, let's say top plane, select the sketch and uh, I will draw the uh, top profile of the boat. So let's start with a, let's say midpoint line. And uh, now I will draw a center line. And I will connect this point to this origin. Okay. And uh, now I will draw, let's say, one arc connecting this point and this point. So let's go to your arc, three point arc. I will select this point and I will select this point. Okay. Uh, let's uh, mirror this sketch. So let's go to your mirror entities. Uh, entities to mirror this one. Mirror about the center line and select OK. Uh, now I will apply dimensions so that I can uh, constrain my sketch. So let's say this arc is uh, uh, 150. And let's say this line is uh, 35 millimeters. And now you can see that this sketch is still underdefined. So let's say this one, the center line is 100. Okay. Now you can see that this sketch is fully defined and as you can see that the color of the sketch is turned into black which indicates that the sketch is fully defined. You can see here as well fully defined. So I will exit this sketch and now I will draw the right profile. So let's go to your right plane, select a sketch and uh, uh, I will draw let's say three uh, random lines. Okay. Now I will select this point, hold shift, I will select this point and I will make them coincident. Similarly, this point and this point and make them coincident. Now I'll go to a smart dimension and I will dimension this as uh, let's say 10 millimeters and select OK. Now you can see that this sketch is still underdefined. So I will give them a relation. Let's say this one is vertical. And now you can see that this sketch is fully defined. Uh, I will apply two fillets here and uh, the dimension of the fillet is let's say five, five radius here and here and select OK. I will exit this sketch. Now I will draw the front profile of this board. So let's go to here front plane, select sketch and uh, view normal. Here I will draw two curves. So let's say I will start with this one, three point arc. I will make one arbitrary curve here and another one here. Okay. I will join this one, this point with this one. And let's say these are uh, tangent. Okay. Just rotate. I will select this point and I will select this point and I will make them coincident. Similarly, uh, here I will use pairs relation. So I will select this point, hold shift. I will select this line and I will make them pairs. Okay. Uh, you can see that this sketch is still underdefined. So I will constrain this sketch by giving some uh, suitable dimension. Uh, let's say this small arc is uh, 40. And let's say this bigger arc, this one is uh, 300. Uh, now you can see that this sketch is still underdefined. So I will just drag this to maybe here and uh, I will make a center line here. And this center line is tangent to this arc and I will define an angle. So let's say this angle from this one is uh, 80 degree. And now you can see that this front profile is also fully defined. Exit this sketch and now I can uh, use my uh, loft command. Uh, so I'll go to here surfaces 
and if you don't find this tab just right click go to here tabs and now you will find your uh, let's say surfaces or uh, sheet metal tab okay so let's go to here uh, lofted surface and uh, just right click select selection manager select this one and select ok similarly right click selection manager uh, this one and this one ok and last one uh, right click section manager this one and ok and now you can see that this loft command is generated but uh, uh, we want this one uh, as a guide curve so i'll go to your guide curves i will select this one and select ok and now you can see that a loft command is generated uh, next is uh, uh, i will draw a, a sketch here so i'll go to here let's say uh, right plane select sketch and i will select this one uh, convert entities and i will join this sketch by a line okay uh, let's exit this sketch and i'll go to the surfaces and now I will use, uh, let's say, planar surface command or field command. Okay, both commands will work. So let's say I will use this command planar surface. Select OK. Uh, now you can see that we have uh, two surfaces. Uh, one is this one and other one is this one. So we have to knit these surfaces. So let's go to a knit surface, select both surfaces and merge entities and select OK. Uh, now we can apply some fillet so let's go to here fillet and let's apply a fillet of radius 4 and select ok uh, lastly i will apply some uh, uh, appearance or color to this boat let's go to here appearance and uh, let's say i will apply this one uh, blue high gloss plastic double click it and ok so that's how you create uh, a boat in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, it's a very simple board. Well, you can make uh, some uh, more realistic board by adding uh, uh, sections in the right plane. Okay. So uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it. And if you have any question, any query related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.